Day. We got a lot of cool people here who wants to learn. We got lots of guys. Samuel, what do you got for us today, Samuel? Some uh, nice images. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> some some good content about landing pages, personal pages, and uh, you know how to increase the the conversion rates on them, and and you know uh, improve uh, all about you know landing pages and fixing any issues that we have. Why we're not seeing sales when we think that we have the most beautiful landing page on earth. Nice. 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 Cool. You're seeing, you're seeing, Gianni, the the affiliate millionaire show, right? The presentation. Yes, I'm seeing it. Looks nice. Yep. Cool. Let's start. Yeah. So everyone is seeing the presentation, right? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So thank you, thank you, everyone, for being here. You're here. So today show is uh, the show number 10 and we are going to talk about as we said uh, six plus tips to improve your personal pages and increase your advertising campaigns ROI okay those landing pages that are so important for us that make us a lot of money so for the ones uh, who don't know me just a normal person a human uh, seven-figure media buyer and a hard worker. Right now, I'm in Colombia. Just moved here. It's my my new basement. the The last basement was Spain, or mainly uh, the 40 plus countries that I had the chance to visit last year. So, question for you guys: Who wants to be a sexy millionaire? Which is not the same as millionaire only. You have to be sexy as well, like Gianni in his videos. Let's see, let's see. Who wants to be sexy millionaire? Is someone there that wants to be a sexy millionaire, Gianni, or, or no one is typing? Uh, they say that, they say me, 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 me. Awesome, awesome. So with the tips that we are going to give you today, you're going to be a, a bit sexier, okay? Not only because of the money, but because of the knowledge that, that you can get for free. So I know that you are all ready. Let's start with this presentation, this show. So this is a image that exposes uh, the lift model, okay? And the presentation is going to be, uh, you know, about this. And I, uh, at the end, I'm going to show you uh, two landing pages, one that is totally compliant with Bing, uh, another one that is totally non-compliant with Bing, and, uh, you know, uh, that is going to give you an idea of what uh, affiliates are doing right now, okay? So for the ones who, who, who don't know about this LIFT model, if it's the, the first time uh, you, you hear about this, um, you know, these uh, letters, L-I-F-T, stands for Landing Page Influence Function for Tests, okay? So it's just a model, okay, uh, to test to split test landing page and see why uh, it's converted better than, than another. It's this is this is from 2009 from Wider Funnel. They created that. The guys call let me see Chris Goward, and uh, we are going to talk about this. Okay, and these six important parts that are going to help you a lot to have a very very good uh, landing page or result page to make some money with it, okay? And if you're already running traffic, you're going to maybe realize what are you missing out, okay? So those six components are uh, the ones that you want to increase. They are value proposition, relevance, clarity, and urgency. And the ones that you want to decrease, distraction and insight, okay? Like this airplane here, uh, we are going to talk about all those, okay? So let's start with them. You know, value proposition, it's what you are offering to people, okay? So we need to increase that, okay? Uh, you, have to, you have to have very clear, right? 
what you are offering to people, and you know those people need to have it very clear. Okay, so the value is the benefit that you are offering to the potential buyer minus the cost of obtaining that offer. Okay, so that's the value proposition that you're giving to them. You need to create a desire on those people. Okay, they they must they must want your offer. Okay, and if you know a bit of psychology, uh, most of the people that you know what motivates people or why people buy, especially why people buy online, uh, it's basically for two main uh, reasons, right? They are motivated by goals, or they are motivated by by pains. Okay, this is this is why we talk about uh, when we when we you know have other shows or presentations about being and ClickBank. We always say, or when people ask us, what is the best uh, you know offer? What are the best offer that we can promote or we can start promoting on, on ClickBank? Right, Gianni? We always say remedies. Okay, why why do we say that? Is because painkillers are a lot better than than vitamins. Okay, people will 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 you know make more money or they will you know spend more money to buy painkillers when they have a big pain than than buying vitamins because their goal is to be healthier or they buy muscle. Uh, I don't know. Uh, products to build muscle, right? If they have, you know, diabetes, or they have, or they are, you know, uh, fat or whatever, or they have some pain, right? Like, uh, you know, I don't know, like uh, you have a small uh, penis, so if that's a big pain for a man. So you know, that is gonna uh, be really important, okay? When you create your angles uh, for your ads, landing page. Etc. Okay. Let's go to the next one. If you have any answer, just just chat on on just write on the chat box. The the next one that we need to increase is the relevance. Okay. This is really important, and this is one of the things that we see uh, that the students or people who start media buying online uh, they they miss. Okay. They create an ad that talks about apples. Uh, the landing page talk, talks about bananas, and the offer is uh, an orange, right? So you cannot do that. Uh, you know, congruency is one of the most important things in terms of ads. Okay, congruency and preframe. You need to, you know, your ad, your landing page, and what you offer, they have to be connected. They have to be, uh, you know, the same. You have to talk about the same always, from the ad to the offer. So when when a user clicks on your ad, they expect something. You know, if you if they see an ad that talks about apples and then you offer them, uh, you know, uh, uh, pears in a landing page, that is gonna be a no no for them to leave your page and and, and stop you know the process of of, of buying or being pre sale. So all your angles. Uh, they have to be very, very congruent. Okay. Uh, one of the things that many people do, when especially when they are starting uh, media buying, um, they they aim for cheap clicks. Okay. Even Gianni aimed for cheap clicks at the beginning. Uh, you know, it's it's very cool to have one cent clicks, but if they are not making you any money, then why are you aiming for cheap clicks, right? So you know those ads that they have uh, red borders, those ads on Google or Bing that they have uh, capitalized words or they have strange symbols. Uh, you know the media buyer uh, thinks that because he's gonna get more clicks and cheaper, he's gonna make more money. And that uh, the truth is, is he is totally wrong. Okay, uh, it is better to pay for more expensive clicks that are more relevant to your landing page and to your offer than, than doing it like, like that, right? Just aiming for cheap clicks. Uh, another thing is that if you're running, uh, you know, for example, Google or, or Bing, there is something that is quality is called quality score. 
So actually, traffic sources uh, award you with uh, cheaper CPCs and uh, ad ranks, uh, higher ad, ad ranks. So you're going to pay less, your ad is going to show in, in, in a higher position and, uh, you know, uh, that's all because your ads are relevant to your landing page and what to what you offer. So that's that's really important. Forget about the cheap clicks again. Okay, just make sure uh, you aim for relevance, and you're gonna make more more money. Okay. The third thing that we need to increase on our landing pages is clarity. Okay. Uh, guys. One question: Have you heard? For those who run traffic, have you heard? Uh, you know, people saying, "Oh, you know, my landing page is 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 very ugly. Uh, you know, it's broken, but it's converting better than other, you know, better looking one." Can you can you type in the chat box if 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 you if you if you heard that in the past or recently? Gianni, are you there? Always here. Okay, okay. Is, is someone is someone typing like that? They they heard that. Hey, the landing page is really really ugly. You're not gonna have conversion. Ha 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 ha. And then you know the data shows. Well, I am beating you big time. You know. Did you hear that before, yeah, they, guys? They, yes, I have. Adam says that. Awesome, awesome. So that's very related with uh, you know the the, the third. Uh, part that we are talking about, clarity, right? So, you know, many times when testing landing pages, it happened to me many, many times, and then you look at the data, and then you say, well, there has to be an error, this cannot be right, but yeah, I had landing pages with broken CSS, which is pretty much what gives the, the shape or the layout to your page. Totally broken, uh, you know, uh, the images maybe not showing because I forgot to to hyperlink them or, or I had any, any issue with, with the hosting and then I look at the data and that was my best day. Okay, so that's because of the clarity. Okay, fancy looking pre-sell pages are distracting. Okay, so uh, you know, make your lander more clear. Okay, from the copy to the call to action to any, any element that is in your lander, uh, you know, all, your, all those elements, they have to, to be there for some reason, for a purpose. If they, if they are, you know, if you see that removing some elements, you make more money, it's because they are not there for, for a reason, right? So you have to, uh, you know, make your landing page more clear. How do you make your landing page more clear? Better copywriting, okay? You need to, to have uh, a good writing. You need to check for spelling mistakes. Uh, call to action, right? It has to be clear buttons, uh, whatever whatever call to action you're using. It has to be very clear. It cannot be small in black and white. There at the, at the very at the very bottom, right? And you know every single element has to have a, a purpose. Okay, you have to ask yourself if this element is gonna. Uh, boost your conversions or not. If the element is not going to do that, just remove it because it, it, it's there just to, you know, for nothing, for, for, for no purpose. Okay? Let's go to the fourth one, which is urgency. And this is the one that Gianni applies every day, uh, most of the days. If you read the emails of, you know, from, from Frank Kern to the guy who is starting, uh, they all you are using uh, urgency, okay? You need to give people a reason to take action now on your landing page, on your ad, anywhere. If, you know, if people are easily distracted. If you are not doing it, uh, you are missing out, you know, many, many conversions, you know? How do you do that? Timers, uh, you can use Countdown timers. Yeah, I know. I know you saw them before. Uh, you know that's a very basic script that you can put. Uh, you know, in, in in your landing page, and we see that every day, every day on on the on, on TV actually. Okay, 
you have five minutes left to buy this. You know, the offer is going to end tonight. You have three days to take action. All of those, you know. Uh, scarcity, okay? You can communicate uh, that there is a limited supply, for example. Uh, you know, we almost uh, max out the number of seats available in this webinar. You remember how, how Gianni says there is only 100 spots available? Actually, it's not, it's not BS because it's true. Uh, we cannot afford to buy the 500 seats go to webinar, so we just use the 100 seats go to webinar. And we <laughs> use that. that. <laughs> now, it, it's just why are we going to have uh, 300 when we want 100 solid clients? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's true. That, that was a joke, guys. But, uh, yeah, I mean, scarcity, uh, you know, works, that's for sure, and, and, and you see that everywhere, everywhere, on TV, on, on you know, physical ad advertisements out there on the street, etc., etc., etc. The truth is people take more action on losing a deal than actually wanting the deal, okay? That's what it is. It's human nature. It's like the same, same way when... Uh, you know, you're dating someone for a long time, right? Everything is cool, and then the, all of a sudden they, they they tell you they don't love you, and they, they want to leave. Oh, my God. Now you really want to appreciate that because it's gone, right? It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's just human nature. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, you know, countdown timers is one of the ways to, to you know, to give this uh, urgency to your potential buyers, scarcity, another one, discounts, coupons, anything that you can imagine that can, you know, uh, make those potential buyers make a, fa a faster decisions, decision, okay? And as the, as Gianni said, uh, no one wants to lose anything when they feel that they, they take action. Okay, so now we go into these two things that we want to increase. Okay, so with anxiety, right? Uh, you want the conversion, you want the lead, you're anxious. Uh, you know, remember that people don't know you. Most of the times, I don't know what what your what what's your business about, but if you are running, uh, you know, PPC advertising or, or Facebook or whatever, most of the times, if you are running CP, CPA offers, people don't know you. They are cold traffic, so. They have to pull out the credit card. They have to input the credit card in a in a web page. So we need to increase their trust. Okay, like this animal here. So one of the things is social proof, and I I know that you know you see that every day. Okay, so people want to fit in, and you know when when I was uh, reading this part of the presentation. I, I remember, you know, being in this MLM room with those people having success, making money, and all those 50 people aiming for that, and, and you know, like those people signing up on, on that MLM just because of that. If you wait, if you wait three, four days, and you let people think about that, they're not gonna join. Okay, but social proof, right? Social proof is really, really important. Okay. For example, in the, in, the, in, the, in the one here on the left, join over 155 people who get fresh content for, from Copyblog. You know, if 155 people take this deal, why, why shouldn't I, right? The same one here. You know, for example, Oracle, a uh, very famous company, software, 97% uh, of the global Fortune 500 are using this, you know, the other three are just, I don't know, they just want to be different. But if everyone is using that, uh, you know, that is going to increase 